Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Vivago AI, AI Video Generator, new version update. So the version update for this one is mainly for the user interface. Vivago AI doesn't look like this before, so there has been an update entirely for the website. So for now, let's create a video so the viewers can be up to date. So first and foremost, as best practice, these are going to be the prices. Currently, by now, we're using the free plan, which is going to be $0 per month, which has two maximum generations, one concurrent video generations, and these are the yearly plan. Now, these are going to be the monthly. Alright? So, basically, what's new here? First of all, it's going to be the website. There are so much new interface here, and the second one is the filter. Right now, you can now filter this explore page for video, image, and then wink. Wink is basically the feature where you can make your images wink or have facial expressions. For example, this one right here. As you can see, this is gonna be wink. However, it's not really winking still, that's still has gonna be AI. Let's look for one that's gonna be winking. I think we should have one here. And there we go, that's a wink. We have also for this one, that's a blinking. But still, this is wink. Because under wink, we're gonna have so much expressions. I'm gonna show you all of the different expressions later on. So for now, let's focus on the website. Next one, you have campaigns, wherein this is going to be an event inside Vivago. Libraries, favorite, and of course, assets. This is everything we have created. And then we ha also have the tools here. For example, we have video generations, image generations, 3D generations, character creations, and of course, AI tools. Now, since we're rocking, for using the free trial, you can only generate one of each of the tools here. For example, video generations, image, 3D, up to character generations. So you can only choose one at a time and generate. So let's talk first about video generations. It has three sections. First is text to video, image to video, and basically remove background, which is basically for the paid subscription. All right. Now, what is text to video? First, you're going to see here magic prompt. Basically, Magic Prompt helps your prompt to be comprehensive and expand it. And then this is the prompt bar. Duration is going to be here. However, for the paid plan, you can choose 10 seconds. For the motion strength here, by default, this should be around 10. So as best practice, guys, always maximize this one to 30 because it gives you the most motion um, on your videos. For the aspect ratio, this is pretty self-explanatory. These are the sizes of your dimensions on your videos. The most famous ones is 16x9 for YouTube videos, 9x16, and 1x1. One one. So we also have a bar here for negative prompt, things to avoid, for example, blurry, like so, and then pixelated. You can add so much there, but for now, I'm gonna remain those two as it is. And now this is my most favorite part. Let me just remove this one. So we have here prompt bot. So basically what's Prombot? This is the first time I'm seeing them in AI generations and trust me, it's really awesome. So just type in whatever you want here. For example, I'm looking for a prompt wherein I'm looking for a specific woman. And then basically for this one, let me just type in here a woman with wonderful hair. Now I can just simply enter this one, a woman with wonderful hair. And as you can see for a view time right there, the bot or the prompt bot that's thinking to give me a better prompt just by using this simple words. As you can see right there, it gave me a low angle close up, a woman with luxurious hair cascades around her face and shoulders. I can now use this prompt. Up to there. Now, there is a tip for you. If you copy the one that has been generated, paste it again, click on enter, prompt bot will now expand, make it more comprehensive. Make it more specific, basically upgrading your prompt. So imagine how awesome is that, right? Entering a new prompt that has been given originally by PromptBot itself. Anyway, as of now, if you enter this prompt right there, choose an aspect ratio, motion strength by 30. And basically for that one, you can now simply click on generate. Oh, hello. This is going to be our new prompt. Let's just use this one then. Perfect. Now simply click on generate for that one. As you can see, exceeded the number of maximum concurrent tasks. Because as of now, 
I am currently generating a new video that took about 30 minutes row. It's only 21 minutes remaining. Since we're only using the free trial, we cannot generate more than one at a time. Taking about that one, as you can see, there's going to be a note there. All right. Anyway, there's are the sample videos I have using this AI. This is text to video. Also have this one right here. This is what I'm talking about for earlier. This image to video. Let's talk about it later on. We also have this one. This is also for text to video. All right. These are the prompt that Harp is in use. As you can see right there, the magic prompt is here. We have the aspect ratio and the works. Now from here to now, you can retry, add to favorites, download this one with no watermark, but for that, you're gonna need the paid plan. You can also publish this one, and basically it has been published, right? For this one, this is actually really awesome. Let's talk about it on image to video. So image to video has two options, all right? You can enter keyframe or no. First, let's go to no keyframe. If you upload the photo here, for example, I'm gonna just upload the sample download document there, and then I'm gonna choose this one. You can now cut it, choose the aspect ratio, click confirm, and now we're gonna have it uploaded right there, right? Now, there also is a magic prompt here. Describe the shot. I'm just type in a portrait of or let's just get a photo of a beautiful woman. Easy as that. And with that, this is the one I'm talking about earlier. The Wink. The application is called the Wink. However, inside the Wink, there's eyebrow dance, eye dance, multiple expressions, eyes rolling, speaking, while Wink and eyebrows twitching. Now for speaking, if I click on generate for this one, this is the one we're going to have. But again, guys, since we have the free trial, it won't generate at the same time. So for Magic Brush, this is for paid plan. It just basically gives you the area where you want to apply the motions. Same drills, emotion strings right there. And basically once you're good with this one, you're gonna have this result. This is a wink, however, it's gonna be on the one speaking template. All right, pretty awesome. Now let's talk about Wonder Woman, the one from earlier. So if I click on enter keyframe here, I'm gonna have two options. Let me just remove that one first. I have first and last. So first, I'm gonna apply this one, the one earlier. This one right here. Choose the aspect ratio. And then for the last, I'm gonna apply Wonder Woman. This one right there. And now from the prompt, I'm gonna type in here, Wonder, or let's just be become Wonder Woman. And basically for this one, I can now simply click on Magic Prompt and simply click remove the wing option of course click on generate and then since we have the free trial again sorry about this one but this is how it should look like all right perfectly right there we can just play it again the smooth transition is there coming from that one and becoming one the room in itself all right it's really awesome again you can download by simply clicking on this button of course, guys, you can also upscale this option by clicking this Enhance. However, for the Enhance option, that is going to be for the paid trial. Same goes for the Remove Background, this is going to be for the paid version. So the Upscale and the Remove Background is going to be for the paid subscription plans. Alright? So that's going to be video generations for you. Under Image Generations, it's basically a text. Enter text here, apply Magic Prompt, always apply Magic Prompt. Based on my experience, there is a bar here where you can generate some ideas, as you can see right there, if you don't have an idea to start from scratch. Also, there is a tags option here. For example, your character, you want to make it a little more specific. For the color, you want this tie in. The style is realistic, cartoon, ink painting, and anime. Now, if I choose one there, you'll see it's going to be entering your prompt. Abstract, vector art, band painting, and the works. You can choose so much here, even the scenery is here. Now upload image, this is going to be the reference option. You can upload any image you want if you want your output to be looking like the uploaded image. For example, if I upload that one right there, my new output would be going to be the same as my reference image. As you can see, there is a similarity bar, alright? For the model, you're going to have two choices, rather than the poly art is realistic. 
anime is, as the name suggests, for anime, alright? There's two modes, Express and Premium. Premium is the faster generations, but for the paid plan only. Aspect Ratio, 16x9 up to 9x16, that's gonna be by your own preference. Image Count from 1 to 2 for the free trial, and up to 4 for the paid trial, okay? Now, once everything is settled, click on Generate, and you're gonna have this sample images. As you can see right there, there's an anime style. Use on the anime model. Same goes for this one. We also have this, a viking, as you can see right there. We also have this one. Now this is for the model of realistic, the one from earlier. We also have this one right there. As you can see, it's really good, right? Now you can now click on repaint erase if you want, but this thing again, gonna be for the page description. So basically that's just gonna be image generations. So take note guys, each image generation here, if you're using the free trial, takes about two hours to three hours. Since it's gonna be a really awesome and hyped up, a very famous AI for now since it has been upgraded to a new feature, Vivago is really trending. All right? So next up, 3D generations. What's this? You have text to 3D and image to 3D. Text to 3D is basically type in whatever you want. If I type in blue dragon here with wings, I'm gonna have this result, this one right here. It gives me the option, still loading for now. Anyway, this is gonna be a blue 3D dragon with wings. Right, looks like this one right there. Not quite sure why the full screen is loading so much or taking much time. Anyway, this is how it should look like. I can now have the option to download it by GLB or OBG. If I click on this one right there, click on this one, I'm gonna have this, all right? This is gonna be the dragon that has been created inside Vivago. Awesome, right? Again, it's gonna be like that. Same goes with this cat. However, this cat has been used image to 3D, like this option right here. Simply uploading a photo, selecting the photo right there, with no prompt, just simply click on generate. And basically for this one, we are gonna have this cat right here. Let me try uploading it one more time there. It's gonna be a zip file. I'm gonna go for GLB. For GLB, I'm sure it's gonna be looking awesome. Right? That's the cat. It's a bit distorted again if you're making it quite too fast again since it's 3D. However, slowly doing like that one. It will look awesome, since this is 3D, right? Okay, so this is how it should look like in this part right here. I have another one for the car. As you can see right there, this is image to 3D. It's gonna be simple as that, entering a text, and then use an image. Moving over for character creation, this is basically one section. Enter a prompt, choose some tags there, for example, smoke in the woman's form, you can choose the specific part of the character, youngster, teenager, man, woman. I'm gonna go for stewardess for this one, the eyes, red eyeballs, hairstyle. I'm gonna go for medium hair. I think this is good enough. And then for the upload image, I'm gonna remain it as blank. I'm gonna click generate for now. And this is gonna be the results we have from the previous creations I have. Since I don't want to take much of your time, these are going to be the character creations, these are going to be the prompt, and these are the tags, alright? Same goes for this one, this is going to be a lion created using the specific character creations options. This is going to be an anime style, as you can see right there, it's a really good design, alright? So basically for this one, this is Vivago for you. Now for the AA tools here, everything here is going to be for the paid plan. So if you want to try them out, please buy or avail the paid subscriptions. Alright? That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.